So these are some of the questions on the yellow side what we have uh, received. Uh, basically, these are representative questions in terms of what covers the entire, uh, some are verbatim, some are modified to cover the entire gamut of different questions that are uh, that were received. So what is the best way to backtest a strategy? I'm a small trader, how Elgo helps me? Where can I take Elgo platform? What are the tools and investment required to start Elgo trading? Also tell me about the risks associated with it. From where to start backtesting and optimizing? Where, how does one apply Elgo trades? Which software is required? There are different sources through which you can get a trading platform, okay? Uh, one is through your broker. Okay, and there are a lot of platforms offered by a lot of different brokers in different parts of the world. Uh, Interactive brokers, that's like one of the most uh, more popular ones when it comes to uh, automated trading uh, globally. So, so all these brokers, most of the brokers do have their APIs, um, which they have, which they have created and put it across for the usage by all their clients. Some offer it for free. Some um, uh, take up a very minor charge so so for that monthly or yearly whatever it is uh, so that's one way of getting the one way of getting the platform um like someone asked over here so uh, so in terms of like india you have a lot of different brokers uh, like sirodha upstocks or uh, interactive brokers all these guys who do offer uh, the 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 platforms for uh, for algorithmic trading or for using programmatic programmatic trading so the apis which can be used for programmatic trading uh, if not full automation but to a certain level of algorithms that can be used there uh, another is the cloud based platforms there are a lot of cloud based platforms which has come up and uh, you can categorize them into uh, the parts where one is as i said that rule based and cp of course yes that's there but um, what um, is also there is uh, uh, the platforms which offer you multiple choices for creating for uh, creating your codes or coding basically different languages which are they allow uh, there are certain platforms who also give no code uh, platforms where you can drag and drop and create all sorts of strategies now depending on what your requirement is if your uh, requirement is more in terms of uh, more in terms of basic um, uh, rule-based uh, strategies, then I think that works really amazing well, amazingly well. Uh, if it is more in terms of uh, trading, um, uh, in terms of trading strategies, which needs a bit more of uh, uh, alternative data, fundamental data, and other sources of data, then you might need to have to check on cloud-based platforms which offer those data points or those data, or those kind of data, or they uh, allow you to upload your own data and use it over there. So, so that would define what kind of platform, um, uh, th define the requirement. Your requirement would define what kind of platform that you should be using. Now, there would be a, a lot of people who may be not be very uh, comfortable using uh, cloud-based platforms and uh, would want to go for that. Okay, I want to have it on my own machine. So in those cases, you can go for desktop applications or open source APIs, which are out there. So there are a lot of APIs uh, which are there, um, which you can use, trading-based APIs, which can be used for both backtesting as well as for live trading. Uh, then of course, you also have desktop applications where you can install all installers which are available which you know, runs on your own machine so that um, your thing is on uh, with you only so that's there and then there are uh, for those of you who are looking for low latency stuff or uh, high frequency trading strategies then you generally go for high frequency trading platforms which you can um, create your um, uh, your own or you can uh, uh, get it from the different vendors which are available uh, out there for your markets depending on which market you are in so so that's there now the one uh, uh one point is that if you are a small trader if you are just getting started um, what we recommend is that um, uh, and if you do not have a very strong uh, tech background in that case it's best to go ahead with the broker's API or the broker's platform or maybe the cloud-based platforms where everything is, most of the things are already done and taken care of. You just have to create your own strategy, right? So code your own strategy uh, using the interface. So so that's there. If you are a more um, um, uh, 
advanced user, then you can pick your choice uh, from these available platforms, or you can even um, uh, use or create your own um, uh, your your own basic engines. Most of the in fact, there were some questions also that how to go about creating your own trading platforms. Now, most of the brokers have started to offer something called REST API, so which is <clears throat> way more simpler and easier than the former uh, default APIs, which were fixed APIs, right? So um, if you're not a, a high-end techie, then um, the fix would be slightly more um, uh, tricky for you to start to develop a fixed adapter as compared to create a, um, a platform using REST API. 